Greetings guys, this is Tokraft, and welcome to probably my best game ever in World of Tanks. As we can see, I am again driving the WZ-131. And for the long-time subscribers that have been subscribed to my channel for a longer time, know that I had an epic game in this WZ-131 once before. I did 5k damage, but this game is going to be even better, guys. You will not believe it. So as we can see, this is not the best matchup you could ever get in the WZ-131. And also, it's on the map Himmelsdorf. So, spotting, yeah, I can write that on my back, so to say. I can't really spot that much in this game. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to go to the middle in Himmelsdorf. That's probably the thing that I always do in the light tank when I am end up on Himmelsdorf. I always try and spot in the middle. What I'm also doing is trying to keep out an eye on the hill because the hill can get shots down on the people that try to sit here and camp here. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. And I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to get surprised by anyone on the hill. So I'm just going to try and see if I spot anyone through this huge gap here in the map. I activate my binoculars. And I don't spot anyone. But then suddenly I spot a Spear Panzer 1C. I can put a clean shot into his side armor. So, first of all, guys, I have to say that this replay is going to be non-stop action. There's always going to be action in this replay, so it should be very enjoyable to watch. And I'd like to hear your feedback. But anyway, as we can see, now that I've spotted anyone in the middle, there's almost no way that there's going to be anyone stupid enough to drive through the middle. So I'm thinking, okay, let's try to support the hill. From this position, you can. You can shoot all the enemy tanks that come around the way of the castle here. So, trying to aim at some shots here. This is going to just be some free damage here. And sometimes I am pretty lucky with penetrating my shots because this tank only gets 159mm of penetration. If you choose to uh, equip this gun, the 85mm with 159mm of penetration and 200 alpha damage. You can also mount a 100mm gun on this tank, but I'm not a huge fan of... Uh, that gun, why? Because you lose a lot of gun characteristics that I like, like aim time and accuracy. Really lucky there, I bounce a shot from the IS-3, but at the same time I miss a very easy shot on the Yak Panther 2 side armor. But luckily I can put the second in, and the third. And I'm going to just be able to sneak in the fourth one, there we go. So as we can see this gun reloads really quickly and that's what I like about this tank as well. It doesn't really matter if you miss a shot because this tank reloads so quickly that you can easily put in a second shot as we can see. So there we go. That was almost all of the targets I could hit on the hill. And as we can see on the map, my allies are fighting against the enemy forces on their side of the map. So I'm thinking, okay, after this last shot I'm going to have to try and support them. So that's exactly what I do now, but the thing is, I'm a support tank and I don't have any armor. So what I can't do is just drive in uh, the straight way. I have to try and find a way around and try to support wherever I can. Because if I go in uh, through the front there, uh, like where the Leopard PTA is standing, all the enemy guns will face right at me. And that's what I want to avoid. I want to try and come as a surprise for the enemy. So that's what I do here. I do a sneaky uh, little thing here and I kill the IS. I can see that a lot of tanks are back here and that an IS is coming in. So I'm using this rack as cover. Man, this is just no stop, no non-stop action here. There's an IS-6. There's an IS. I'm thinking, okay, I will never be able to win this fight. And I also see an IS-6 trying to come in for the allied cap. So I'm thinking, okay, it's time to try and take down this IS-6 first and then try to re-engage on the other enemies here. I try to go for the tracks. But I miss his tracks and it goes into his upper plate. I load a heat shell to make sure I go through this tank because he's really well armored. He puts a shot into me and he high rolls. Oh, for God's sake, why do you have to high roll? But anyway, I decide to leave heat loaded because, for instance, I might have to shoot the T10. But first, I'm going to have to uh, put some shots into this IS. So I can see that I shoot the IS and I load my standard rounds again. I can put one more shot in if I'm lucky. There we go. Had to aim for a little bit longer, but I managed to put it in. So now this T10 is still there. No idea why I took this shot. Anyway, I can see that the IS is not aiming at me, so I'm thinking, okay, let's go in. So what my plan is now to engage the IS, I'm going to stand at him sideways. Because if he decides to turn, I can drive away backwards or forwards. So let's see what he does. That's exactly what he does. He turns around and I can immediately react to it. I can immediately turn around and take him down. So, perfect timing for me. All the tanks on this flank are dead. 
especially because the other flank has been uh, rushed by the tanks that were on the hill. So I can see that the OO and the IS-3 are pushing down towards the, the station there, the train station. And I can see the OHO rush towards the train station. I'm thinking, okay, these are going to be some really easy side shots here. Because the OHO has got a huge side profile. But as soon as the OHO turns his armor like he does right now, I have no chance of penetrating. So I decide to try and track him. I miss the tracking shots, but it doesn't matter. I have to get the hell out of here. Because if he... Uh, has equipped the uh, derp gun he will easily be able to one shot me but the oh turns his armor again but unfortunately i was just a little bit too slow on reacting to that and i didn't manage to put the shot in i've got heat loaded right now because there's pretty much almost no way i'm going to be able to engage the tank side on luckily this oho does it again it's huge side profile is visible and i can just put shot after shot in here I tried to fire a shot at this plate there, thinking that I could penetrate it with my, I think, 230. Yes, 230 millimeters of penetration. The OHO has got 200 and 200 millimeters of frontal armor, but it was just an angle too much for me to be able to penetrate. Same for this shot. The angle was just a little bit too much. But also, adrenaline was just going through my body here because this was just uh, the probably the most tenseful game I ever had, and I fuck up my last heat round. So that's pretty bad. This OO has just fired so I know I can sit in the open and afford to take another shot and try and track him. But also that shot misses. I'm going to have to try and aim a little bit better here. Luckily I do. Because the Leopard PTA attacks him I'm thinking okay let's screw this OO. Let's try and take him down. Screw the IS. He doesn't peek out. I'm just going to stand next to the OHO here to try and take him down. So that's exactly what I do. I keep an eye out on the IS if he decides to come round. OHO is down. And I immediately drive forwards to avoid the IS-3. Luckily I do. So now it's just a matter of taking down this IS-3 and finding the last enemy tank on the enemy team, which is the M103. The IS-3 sees me coming and I can see this using third person mode in my advantage here. And I turn around the building to see and avoid the IS-3. He turns his turret. I'm thinking, okay, side armor there. Can I put a shot in? Yes, I can, but it doesn't penetrate the angle this tank just on time, which sucks. But oh well, I've got a T-29 and a combat on my side, so it's pretty much two tier 7 tanks against a tier 8 and a tier 9 tank. Who hasn't been spotted yet the entire game. I've only got 5 AP. Oh my god, what a beautiful snapshot. So when he was unspotted, I said, okay, I have to come around the corner to try and spot him. And his side armor was showing, so I decided to put a clutch shot into his side and it managed to penetrate and kill the IS-3. So now I'm trying to find the... M103, the first thought that is going to my mind is he is got to be AFK, so I decide to go there. But the enemy team tell me where he is. I, of course, can't be sure if this is true or not, but really, I've had such a good game so far. I'm just going to have to take the risk then. So I've got four AP shells left and five HE shells. How am I going to deal with this situation? It looks like my two allies are going to try and cap, which is fine with me. I'm just going to have to try and fight the M103 because if he's not AFK, we will at least be able to win this game. So if he is AFK, I will be able to find him here hopefully. And as you can see, the enemy team is saying that he's full and he's full health. Oh my god, this is the biggest snack you could ever hope for. And I'm thinking, is he really AFK? And then I think I see his turret turn, but actually that was just my... Uh, <laughs> my fantasy, he didn't turn at all. He is going to be AFK, guys. He really is going to be. But the problem that I have right now is am I going to be able to penetrate this m 3s butt with my HE shells? Because they've only got 43 millimeters of penetration. You can see me uh, you can see me here try out the reticule, which is orange, so it can't really reliably penetrate that. But then I go down and I see the reticule turns green, which means I will be able to penetrate it. And guys, just look at this. Just look at this. 5.5k damage. 6k damage almost and I will be able to take out the killing blow with only one shell remaining in my tank. If I would have been a scumbag I would have of course fired one shot into the ground and taken down the M103 with the last shot to get a really rare medal. But of course I didn't even, that was the last thing I was thinking about at that moment. It was just for me being able to secure this game and get through with the win. So guys what a game this was. So guys, to start off this day, I wasn't having the best games of World of Tanks ever. 
I got one shot by artillery a lot that day. And also I was getting some pretty bad luck with where my shots were going. But it doesn't even matter anymore as I just had the best game ever probably in World of Tanks. And I also finally managed to complete Light Tank Mission 15 for the T28 concept during this game. I was so happy to pick this up because I had been stuck on Light Tank 15 and Tank Destroyer 15 for almost 5 months now. So it was really satisfying to finally pick up Light Tank 15. And especially with others. So now the only le mission left between me and the T28 concept is TD-15. For which I have to cause 4000 damage at least to enemy vehicles. The thing is that I can't really do that reliably. Because my highest tier tank destroyer is an SU-122-44. And getting 4k damage in such a tank is pretty much an epic game as well. I've only managed to do it twice. The video in which I go 4001 damage done you can find on my channel as well. You can find the link in the description and you can click your screen right now. A long time ago the TD-15 mission for the Stuk 4 was also to get 4000 damage but Wargaming realized that that mission was a little bit too hard for um, less skilled players so they moved down the damage done to 3000. But I managed to complete the Stuk uh, TD-15 mission when it was still on 4k. So it is possible for me to do it again and I will try to as much as I can. I just want to get the T28 concept missions done and try to start the missions for the T55A as soon as possible. So next up I want to show you the amount of base experience I got, so hold your horses. 2170 base experience. This was the first game ever in which I managed to achieve 2000 plus base experience. I was very shocked after that game and I, had st I was staring at my screen for more than a minute like this can't be real. I wish that I'd recorded that reaction because it would have been awesome to show on YouTube, but unfortunately I don't. You're just going to have to take my word for it. So guys, I hope you liked to see probably my best game ever in World of Tanks so far. And if this video sparked your interest in watching more videos on the WZ-131, I've got a lot more videos on the WZ-131 on my channel, including a tank review and another epic game in which I managed to get 5,000 damage. So if you want to see those videos, you can click your screen right now or you can check the links in the video description. For the rest, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. And also think about subscribing if you haven't already. Because guys, remember, at 253 subscribers, I will be releasing two subscriber special videos. And if you have no idea why I'm releasing my subscriber videos at 253 subscribers, you should go watch the subscriber announcement video as well. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.